again. Trying to shoot the crows. Don't worry about wasting ammo. One or two bullets. Not too bad. And you, you gained get. a grenade. It's actually pretty useful for the part coming up. And my best friend. Just help him. You're not a bastard. We should name him. Go. On. You go. Steve. Steve. Why is it always Steve? I don't know. Everything's Steve. What? No. It went. This is the last time we're going to see Steve. I mean, name <laughs> something Steve. We can, we can actually see that dog quite a few times in the game. Okay. So what, you want to help him? What, what should we name him? Then? No, it's, he's named Steve, but in his name Steve. Okay, we're not, we're not allowed to name anything. Any no, one, one per game. These things, these trip wires will explode if you walk through them. You can shoot them and it'll, they'll go off, but just they're easy enough to dodge. Now, remember this guy. Let's see if that glitch happens. Oh, no, I'm going to get it. No, you didn't fuck up your life today. <laughs> yeah, that's so many... oh, he, for some reason, this guy just does not despawn or drop anything. Why? It's a bit weird. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just put that fear in you. Yeah, I guess because it's the start of the game. Always doubles um, slash. I'll use the servers to be safe. Boxes because there's a random chance. It's a fucking weird ass hand. <laughs> it looks weird. It doesn't look like a skeleton hand. That's how detached your hand comes from your arm when you wang too much. Anymore. She's still got her body intact. Lovely. Okay. Can't really see her face. That's a bit mangled. <laughs> I love my girls with forks in the face. Oh, yeah, no! I love bear bitches. <laughs> you're well, awesome. that, yeah, when you kick it, you're invincible. So if even if another enemy tries to hit you... You then, won't get hit. Yeah, exactly. So that's why you want to try and go for that kick. As soon as you see the prompt, go for it. You're invincible and you knock anything in that like that way out, like further away. So you just gonna... don't waste your ammo on these guys. They're invincible. I don't know why, but they ain't do anything anyway. They're there to scare you. I think you probably get that. Guy. Someone in here. Yeah, and it's the same. I remember this one. It's the same model again. GameCube limitations. GameCube couldn't hold that much. It's mad. Discs. Resident Evil 4 was actually a double disc game on the GameCube. If you didn't know that. No, because I played it on PS2. That was a single disc. Which had a bit more content on that game. I think it had like some Ada stuff and um, un unlockables. But the frame rate was it gone down? Was this is 60 right? And it was gone. It went to 30. I on, think so. And graphically, the yeah. GameCube was a lot better. Yeah, the textures weren't that great. I never played the PS2 version. I played the GameCube Wii 360 and now PS. Isn't the Wii the best version of the game? People say that for just for controls because apparently the, the the motion controls on the Wii version are really good. I've never I don't like motion controls and to be honest I don't I never will. But yeah, that's what I've heard. A lot of uh, playthroughs actually on YouTube are mainly of the the Wii version just because of the controls. And yeah, this is the this is my favourite part of the game. This village. This is what I always think about when I when I think of Resident Evil Four. Just this area. Not to say the rest of the game's bad, it's just this is just iconic. Yeah, I'd say that it's iconic. Yeah, this is yeah. not Ubisoft iconic, but it's iconic. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe they called that guy, the guy from Watch Dogs, his hat iconic, in the same fucking game. How could you be iconic in one game? Yeah. So look, if you see here, <laughs> For another day, we'll play Watch Dogs. No, we won't. If you see what? Here, this is the guy, that was the policeman that helped us earlier. How the fuck did they drag him from the bottom of the cliff? To this village before Leon got here, and that was straight pathway. Some explain that. It's a conspiracy. Shut up. <laughs> he was dead all along. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! So what the fuck? I told you that's a conspiracy. Usually, like when Leon dies, they just munch him and shit. But I guess they just wanted to make an example. They munch yeah. him. Well, yeah. Well, I don't know if you're gonna see me die. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like the rare instance of the game where you can just watch their daily lives which isn't that interesting really they're just a bunch of farmers oh and his they're hat they're actually not that threatening no they're not they did have lives before they became infected which you see at the end of the game <laughs> shit this is like they can't, this is like kind of like a stealth part but it's not really it's just play just move until you get detected hey yeah, god did someone just say morning if morning Oh, I don't know what they're saying. I'm sure they're saying some Spanish words. Oh, she's gonna see you. Yep. Yeah. Again, when fuck sake, the music kicks in. The music gonna sing. I'm not worried. They came in already. You not worried? They man. smashed through the door. Just fucking go ham. 
<laughs> Go ham! Ham and cheese toasty. <laughs> do you want to do a specific um, house you want to get into? It, it causes a cutscene to play. But you want to go up here first for some shotgun ammo. Which you're going to need. Yes, because this part where you get a shotgun, I remember that. You get a shotgun quite early in the game. Yep, and it's probably, the shotgun I'd say is probably the most useful weapon in the entire game. Fuck's sake. Leave me alone. I come in peace. <laughs> yep, so cutscene triggers when you come in here, always triggers. Oh, they get mad and tactical with this shit. Again, these are not like any other zombies before in other Resident Evil games that actually they're not these actually weapons, zombies. they break through yeah. they break they get ladders, they break through windows, they break through doors. This mechanic the mechanic of like defending the house isn't used that much in the game. I like I like the idea though, and I wish it was used more. Like you do like you can push um, shelves and shit. What the fuck was that a tiger? <laughs> what? That sound effect, it sounded like a tiger. What kind of tiger is you? Well, what do you like to know? Here is the trusted old weapon, the shotgun. Take it because in this part you're going to need it. Let's try and clear this place out. I don't know how he doesn't get hurt from doing that. I don't understand. He's fucking Leon. So you want to get in this room. And this is probably the safest room in the area because there's only one way to get in and it's a metal door. The wooden doors, they can break them, but the metal one obviously. Oh, so yeah, you pretty much just want to camp it out. They just keep spawning for a while. And because I'm playing... Oh, he's a fuck it. Yeah, oh, he, he's shit. a one-hit kill. If he comes any close to you with his fucking... He li he's a one-hit kill guy, yeah. isn't he? And you but he's not scary. Luckily, he has the same... Same... Oh, I'll reload him. It's the same kind of like body type as these guys, where he, if you get shot in the head, he flies back. Oh. <laughs> I'm not worried about you. I'm fucking more scared than you are! So let's get close on the camera. Is he still alive? Yeah. Usually I throw grenades, but because he gets knocked back sometimes, obviously... I don't really want to throw grenades, it probably more. That was close. Come on. Get rid it's once you rid of him. Fuck's sake. Hang on. Oh, I thought I thought that was going to the cutscene. He's taking some shit. Oh shit. Is he dead now? Yeah, he's dead. I'm skipping that. <laughs> it, just <laughs> it just breaks the flow that part. Alright, now I'm pretty safe. He drops um, 10k, which again, what? Money in a resident game? What am I use that for? Well, we'll see. <laughs> Probably the best character uh, in the whole series. Just, yeah, I wish he was a playable character in Marvel vs. Capcom. That's an idea. <laughs> just throw fucking weapons at people. But yeah, we'll, we'll talk about it more when we see him. A lot of you would probably already know who we're talking about. Oh. But oh, I've got a bit. There. But at the same time, he's still a fucking great character to talk. I love how he's holding his hand yeah, up. Yeah, like, yeah. I still got a weapon. But sometimes as well, rarely, you can shoot their head off and they'll grab you and it still they, it still would um, count as damage even though they don't have a head. Okay. Yeah, it's, I don't know if it's a glitch or intentional, but it's annoying. Come on, you open the door. <laughs> that guy's like, I've got a fucking no! <laughs> This. So yeah, as I said, this area they just keep spawning, so you just want to hang back. There's no point running what around. What the fuck's like, going like, on? It's clipping through the door. I swear to God, they throw an axe oh, at no. you through like. <laughs> there was a whole family just waiting for you. There we go. Ah, oh, there we are. That's you what play we wanted. It, play until this cutscene plays. This is like an iconic, iconic part as well. I'll say that word again. I won't say it anymore. You're going to say it more. Nah, that's, that's it now because no one else remembers the game after this. 
No. A lot of people get to this point and that's the end of the game for them, to be uh, fair. To be honest, that's all you need to play. We're done now. I hope you enjoyed our play for Resident Evil 4. It was a good game. We can play it 100%. We're Ev done. The game ends with everyone going to play bingo. <laughs> <laughs> you ruined it before you said it. Everyone knows the line. But listen, what I love about this game is that cheesy action action lines and people say, oh, that's not Resident Evil. It's supposed to be horror and scary. Bullshit. Yeah, but to be fair, the cheesiness, the cheesiness has always been in Resident Evil from the first one. That's probably one of the most cheesiest. I'm not going to repeat the yeah, most iconic line from Resident Evil 1. And the thing is, people say, oh, Resident Evil 1 was so scary as a kid, I was playing it on the PS1, I shit myself. If you play Resident Evil 4 at that age, you would shit yourself more, way more. Like, that game... I know it's a bit scary with the atmosphere and stuff, but... This doesn't have the jump scares, though. That's... If I was playing this game as a kid and I got chucked into that fucking village and all that them guys chasing me, that music, I would fucking shit myself. <laughs> but yeah, it's debatable, again. But before... Cause we're, oh, it's because we're older. We're never going to experience that same fear of playing them horror games as a kid again in our lives. The only way to test it is on new kids. I don't really want to have my little brother play this game. <laughs> have you played Resident Evil 7 yet? No. That's fucking scary. I disagree. I, I don't... I say this now, I don't think I can be scared of games anymore. I just, they don't scare me. Well, that's alright, fucking some. I haven't <laughs> completed well, Resident Evil. Uh, yeah. There's like, I saw a game, uh, a trailer, I can't remember what it was called. I think it was a game that was like based in hell. It looked fuck, fucked up. Little Nightmares is a game we want to play. Oh, I don't know if you've seen that. Up, didn't yeah. That is one of our next playthroughs. That's on my list. Alright, sweet. Anyway, so yeah, all the villagers are gone. The music's stopped, so it means you're safe. What you want to do now is just explore the area. Get any items because you're safe for now. There's going to be nothing else. Um, no more enemies. You're safe to explore. This. It's not the last time you come here, but... This is the only time where there's going to be no enemies. I don't know why I did that. There was nothing in that house. But you can examine this guy. What in God's name? <laughs> you only would come with me. Which is still bullshit because he would die anyway. You want to just chuck him like out the window? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Turn that shit off. I so I'm unprofessional. <laughs> Do I look like a professional to you? Yes, man. <laughs> professional hobo impersonator. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, there's a little uh, treasure up there, which you could use later on. Oh yeah, there's a little house up here too. Which sometimes I tend to forget. This room here, I would say you probably could camp this room too. It's just not a safe. Oh, oh! Flashbang, pretty useless, but they are useful in one spot, which I'll show you. Is that later on in the game? Yeah. I don't know if it else up here, but I need to look at. Is there something in this tree? Um, the cow here, don't waste your ammo, you can kill it, but it's a waste, it doesn't drop you anything, and it can actually hit you and cause a lot of damage. Just don't bother, just leave it. <laughs> It's not infected. I want to see the cow fuck Yellow you herb. up. You combine them with green herbs to increase your maximum health. You can max it out and complete that entire bottom right corner. You can see, I didn't. Actually, which you did, but I wouldn't waste. I don't have any green herbs at the moment anyway. But you just want to use them in com when. Don't use them like when you got full health. It's just a waste. So use them when you need to. You get enough in the in the game to max out your health health easily, and probably give a little bit to Ashley if you want. <laughs> Get wrecked. They don't want to give you shit. Again, this game has a kind of weird balancing where if you're playing the game good. What the fuck? I've never seen a chicken in here before. I like it. Oh, look. Got it. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Sometimes they can drop a white egg, a brown egg, and a golden egg. They're in Resident Evil 5 as well. I think you get an achievement in Resident Evil 5 if you collect them all. Yeah, you collect... If I'm correct, you collect one of... All four eggs in Resident Evil 5 because you also have a rotten egg in that. You get oh, yeah. Don't you, don't you get the achievement if you throw it on your, on your partner? Yes. Yeah, that's it. Not at your partner. If you, oh, okay, if you an can defeat an enemy with a rotten egg, I think it's a rotten egg, you can get an achievement. Some of the achievements in that game are fucking bullshit. But yeah. that's for another day. Yeah. Okay, so, typewriter, okay, let's do it. So far, so good. Yeah, you're doing alright today. Today? Always do alright. I love this game. I must have completed it about eight times. I didn't even completed it once. Okay, these blue medallions, they're scattered around this area. They're just... Bonfire, stay out! Bonfire, stay out! That's what he sounds like he's saying! I think he's saying um, intruder. I can't remember exactly what he was trying to do. 
get right. Nice when you just save some ammo. Chickens also lay eggs when they get stressed. So let's get them because they actually these small, which I didn't know until earlier. Oh, golden egg. That's lucky. Ah, uh, I see what you did there. Golden egg. Lucky. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. That was the fucking manual of the blue medallions. <laughs> How the fuck do you manage that? Oh! Oh! Ammo! Oh. Yeah, so what I was saying earlier, if you're playing the game good, well, getting headshots, getting kills, not really dying, you I get less items. If you keep dying to a certain spot or you're out of ammo, they will be more generous. So you really can never run out of ammo in this game. I've never run out in my, in my entire playthroughs. But have you done it on professional before? Yes, I have. But I've okay. used, people usually play professional with the bonus costumes, which one of them is like a pimp outfit for Leon. It looks really weird because in the cutscenes and stuff, he has the normal outfit, but then when in gameplay, he has the pimp outfit. And Ashley's in a night <laughs> armor, which is makes her invincible, so she can't be killed. Which is helpful, but oh shit! Why do you just shoot at a wall? Oh shit! Oh, we got rocked! <laughs> um, yeah, the night armor makes her invincible to gunfire and pitchfork. Because if Ashley dies, it's a poor Mac game over. Which is annoying, but this game doesn't do the escort mission. Annoying. To be honest, I don't mind it at all. I, could, I would have knifed him, but he stuck in the fucking head. <laughs> Easy and shit! Oh. Wow! He's still not dead, man. This guy just. There we go! <laughs> My he can die eating hay. My only weakness. <laughs> okay, so oh, I think the area is cleared out. Now medallions. And yeah. what is it about these blue medallions? Well, you want to collect ten and you get a bonus later on. If you get fifteen, I don't think you get anything special. Just ten. But yeah, just. Well, why a... waste time getting all of them? No, you might. I might as well just get them while they're here. We shall be back. Game. For fuck's sake, why spoil it like that?